to understand the world around us. We need to find the relationships among physical quantities that can be measured. But no measurement is absolutely precise. There is an uncertainty associated with every single measurement. Uncertainty arises from different sources. Among the most important are the limited accuracy of every measuring instrument and the inability to read an instrument beyond some fraction of the smallest division. In the measurement of the length of the green bar in the picture, for example, if you were to use the red ruler, the result could be claimed to be precise to about 2 mm, the smallest division on the ruler. The reason for this is that it is difficult for you to interpret blade between the smallest divisions. Do you find the differences between these two ampere meters? The left one has a smaller measuring range of 50 ampere, and the one on the right has a much larger measuring range of 500 ampere. However, the smallest division for the meter on the left is 2 ampere while the smallest division for the meter on the right is 5 ampere. The measuring precision for the left meter is better than the one on the right. This is a Michelson interferometer in Liangxiang physics lab. The reading showing here is 33.52246 mm, super price, right? Michelson interferometer is a very precise instrument in lens measurement. We say the data showing here has seven significant figures. The number of reliably known digits in a number is called the number of significant figures. It is a measure of claimed accuracy. This number of digits has merit in a measurement or calculation. For example, there are three significant figures in the number 62.0 millimeter, but for the number 0 0.0062 mm, there are two significant figures in the number. The zeros here are merely placeholders that show where the decimal point goes. For the number 0 0.0120, how many significant figures are there? Three. Right? So, how do we know the exact number of significant figures? Here's the rule. When writing a number, all non zero digits are significant. Zeros may or may not be significant unless followed by a decimal point. Those used to position the decimal point are not significant. Those used to position powers of 10 ordinaries may or may not be significant. For instance, for the number 2, there is one significant figure. For number 40, are there one or two significant figures? It is ambiguous in this case. It could be one or two significant figures. If the measuring instrument you use had a smallest division of 10 
kilometer. There will be one significant figure in 40 kilometer. The four. Since zero is merely a placeholder. If it is exactly 40 kilometer within an accuracy of one kilometer, the 40 has two significant figures. By making use of scientific notation, we know 4.0 times 10 to power 1 has two significant figures. The final result of a multiplication or division should have only as many digits as the number with the least number of significant figures used in the calculation. When making measurements or calculations, you should avoid the temptation to keep more digits in the final answer than is justified. For example, if the width and length of a rectangle were measured as 2 cm and 3.1 cm respectively, the area of the rectangle at the multiplication will be 6.2 cm square. But this answer is clearly not accurate to 0 0.1 centimeter square since the width has only one significant figure or to say it was measured within the accuracy of two plus one or minus one centimeter a vast we can quote the answer as six centimeter square which implies an uncertainty of one centimeter square. Thus, the result of multiplication 6.2 centimeter square needs to be rounded off to 6 centimeter square. 4.0 times 10 raised to the power 1 divided by 2.04 times 10 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 1.6 times 10 to minus 1. When adding or subtracting the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the sum or difference should equal that of the term that has the smallest number of the digits to the right of the decimal point. So 2.4 minus 0 0.0023 equals 2.4. Please note, the accuracy of output of a calculation cannot exceed the accuracy of any of the input. As you use a calculator, you input 1.000 divided by 7.0. It turns out 0.142A571428A57. But the correct answer is 0.14. Don't quote the meaningless digits. Section 2. Units and Standards The measurement of any quantity is made relative to a particular standard or unit, and this unit must be specified along with the numerical value of the quantity. For example, we can measure a distance in units such as inches, feet, or miles or in the metric system in millimeters, centimeters, meters, 
micrometers. There are three basic units. Time unit. One second is defined as the time for an excited atom, cesium, to make a specified number of oscillations. Length unit. A meter is defined as the distance that light travels in a specified fraction of a second. Mass unit. A kilogram is defined as the mass of a chunk of platinum in Paris, shown below. In 1971, the 14th General Conference on Weights and Measures, the SI system was adopted. It is based on meter, second, and kilogram. So we say meter, second, and kilogram are basic units. Many SI-derived units are defined in terms of these basic units, such as the unit for power, one watt, equals to one joule developed by one second, equals to one kilogram meter square divided by second cubic. This unit is called derived unit. Everything in classical mechanics can be expressed in terms of the fundamental quantities, length L in meter, mass M in kilogram, time T in second. Following are some examples of more complicated quantities. Speed has a quantity of the length divided by time. Acceleration has the quantity of the length divided by time square. Force has the quantity of the mass length divided by time square. We will use mostly SI units in this course, but you may run across British units in daily life, even in engineering design. You should know how to convert them back and forth. Here are some useful conversion factors you should keep in mind. One inch equals to 2.54 centimeter. One meter equals to 3.28 feet. One mile equals to 5,280 feet. One mile equals to 1.61 kilometer. This is the example of conversion of miles per hour to meters per second. One mile per hour is about one half meter per second. When on travel in Europe, you rent a small car, which consumes 6 liters of gasoline per 100 km. What is the MPG, miles per gallon, of the car? They are 3.8 liters per gallon. The solution is 100 km divided by 6 liters equals to 40 miles per gallon. Order of magnitude in rapid estimating. In rough estimation can be useful and powerful. It is made by rounding off all numbers to one significant figure and its power of 10. What is the power of 10? Let's review scientific notation. We write 1,234,000 in an alternative way, 1.234 times 10 raised to the power of 6 and 0.0000123 equals to 1.23 times 
10 raised to the power of minus 5. Most common factors of powers of 10 prefix are if your counting goes up, it is like a kilo, magger, jigger, terror. If your counting goes down, it is like milli, micro, nano, pico, each up and down from the next by a factor of 1000. Here are some prefixes for power of 10. 10 raised to the power of minus 18. Add all. We call 10 raised to minus 15 as femtol. 10 to 12, pico. 10 to minus 9, nano. 10 to minus 6, micro. 10 to minus 3, milli. We call 10 to the power of 3, kilo. 10 to 6, mega. 10 to 9, Jigger, 10 to 12, Terror, 10 to 15, Patter, 10 to 18, Axer. Nowadays, human being has reached to very large cosmological space and very small subatomic world as well in distance time and mass for length or distance. A football field is about 100 meter, that is 1 times 10 to 2. The radius of Earth is 6.4 times 10 to 6 meter. The distance of Earth to Sun is 1.5 times 10 to 11 meter. The radius of visible universe is 1 times 10 to 26 meter for small things. The diameter of a hydrogen atom is 1 times 10 to minus 10. The diameter of proton is 1 times 10 raised to the power of minus 15. We are able to see red cells in our blood under electronic microscope clearly with high definition. For time scale, 1 hour equals to 3.6 times 10 to 3 seconds. One year has, has a 3.2 times 10 to the power of 7 seconds. Light travels from Earth to Moon in 13 seconds. The age of the universe is 5 times 10 to the power of 17 seconds, equals to the order of 10 to the power of 10 years. Though the Bible Tell us God Jehovah created the world 6,600 years ago. The mass of an object. A car is about a ton, 1,000 kilogram or so. The mass of Earth is about 6 times 10 raised to the power of 24 kilogram. The mass of sun is 2 times 10 raised to the power of 30. Sun is a gaseous like a plasma entity, not a hot bar. We are sometimes interested only in an approximate value for a quantity. That may be because an accurate calculation would take more time than it is worth or would require additional data that are not available. 
To give you some idea of how useful and powerful rough estimates can be, let us do a few examples. 1. A typical atom has a diameter of about 1.0 times 10 to minus 10 meter. Approximately how many atoms are there along a 1.0 centimeter line? 1.0 centimeter divided by the diameter of an atom, that is 1.0 times 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. We have the answer of 1.0 times 10 to A atoms. 2. And it's made how long it would take to walk around the world. The radius of the Earth is about 6,000 kilometer. Assume we travel along the equator and we can walk an average of 15 miles a day. Then, the time it would take to walk around the world is about four years. The world is so wonderful that you energetic young people always has the impulse to decide to walk around the world. By this rough estimation, you could imagine how long your hair and your beard might be after you were back four years later. 3. Estimate the number of times a human heart beats in a lifetime. If we take the average lifetime to be 70 years, an average pulse of human heart to be 60 beats per minute, we have the number to be 2 times 10 to the power of 9 speeds. Why the lifespan of a turtle is much longer than that of a hummingbird? Because the number of heartbeat is limited, turtles understand the truth and always stay at rest for a thousand years lifespan. But hummingbirds are always in flying and alive for four to five years only. So, if you want to live longer, you better to stay still and don't move at all. I'm kidding. Dimensions and dimensional analysis. When we speak of dimensions of a quantity, we are referring to the type of units or base quantities that make it up. Dimensional analysis is a very important tool to check your work. When working on a problem, you get the equation for distance d equals to v times t squared. The dimension of the quantity on the left side is length in meter. The dimension of a quantity on right side is length divided by time times tens times square equals to length times time in meter second. Left unit and right units don't match, so the equation is not true. Which of the following equations is correct? A B or C? You tell me.